Blessings. I am Deacon Anita Maro, Love Gospel Assembly, and today I will be speaking on the Nuggets of Hope theme on the book of Proverbs. Today I will focus on Proverbs chapter 9, verse 1, and wisdom. I have often wondered why in the book of Proverbs Solomon speaks to wisdom as a female. At first, as a woman, I felt very pleased to know that God calls wisdom her. I was like, yes, God calls wisdom her. We are the pillars of wisdom. However, the Holy Spirit reminded me of how the Bible in Proverbs chapter 2, verses 6 and 7 tells us that the wisdom, that wisdom comes from the Lord our God. Father God is the giver of wisdom. Therefore, wisdom comes from a masculine place. Wisdom has no gender or age. Perhaps when Solomon called wisdom her, he was speaking in terms of endearment. For example, many or most men refer to their cars as her or she. I, as I water my plants, I refer to them as her. I will say, I gave her water or she needs more sun. And even though the church body is made of male and female, Jesus Christ refers to the church as his bride. I believe also as a term of endearment. Revelations chapter 19 verses 8 through 9 reads, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. It was granted her to clothe herself with fine linen, bright and pure. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 1 personalizes wisdom as a woman. It reads, Wisdom has built her house. She has set up its seven pillars. I believe this is the reference to the church and the bride of Christ. As temples of Jesus Christ's body, we, male and female, can build on wisdom by asking God to help us through the Holy Spirit's revelation. To develop the seven pillars of wisdom. You may ask, what exactly are the seven pillars of wisdom? The Bible describes those pillars in another book, the book of James, which focuses on wisdom. James 3.17 describes the seven pillars of wisdom as follows. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first all pure, second, then peace and loving, third, considerate, Four, submissive. Five, full of mercy and good fruit. Six, impartial. And seven, sincere. Please note that in the Bible, the number seven often symbolizes fullness and completion. So when these seven pillars may be developed and practiced together as a full, complete picture or what wisdom looks like in action. Godly wisdom comes from God and honest God. Godly wisdom starts with the fear of God and results in a holy life. Worldly wisdom, on the other hand, is not concerned with honoring God, but with pleasing, or pleasing oneself. With worldly wisdom, we may become educated, street smart, and have common sense. That enables us to survive in the world's game at times successfully. On the other hand, godly wisdom enables us to prepare ourselves for eternity. With godly wisdom, we trade earthly values for biblical values. Paul writes in Romans 12, 2, one of my favorite uh, Bible verses. 
Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the reunion of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what is God's will, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. That's wisdom. Finally, in our quest for godly wisdom, we need to start by recognizing that Jesus Christ is the wisdom of God. By grace, wisdom is something God offers and which we believe is must receive in order to do and accomplish His perfect will. It is a gift received received in the name of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit which is the revealer who gives us the wisdom of God. God bless you all. I pray you enjoy this nugget of hope. Shalom and be well. Thank you for joining us in this week's Nuggets of Hope. We hope you continue to join us and we hope that you are blessed by each teaching. You can join us on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. God bless you.